Guten Tag. Ich bin Gunther von Germany und ich bin ein Member of the Tussock Jumper Family. The Red Jumper is our sign of the finest quality. So you can enjoy our authentic taste. Zum Wohl. I am wunderbar with grilled fish and poultry like chicken. It's great with my typical spicy Riesling acidity and its crisp finish. I grew up in vineyards along the Rhine. That's our famous river. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. As you can probably tell from the intro to the video, I am doing another Two Sock Jumper wine. It is actually the last wine that I have that they have sent to me. And this is their 2019 Riesling. It's from Rheinhessen, Germany. It is 10.5% alcohol by volume, and I do not know the price because um, they sell it all over the place. And um, prices will vary based upon where you get it. And I actually don't have it in my local stores here because even though I'm like the seventh largest city in the United States, we still have a hard time getting a good wine selection at a lot of places. So just go look on your local wine store website and see how much it's selling for. Uh, first of all, screw top, plus one. We do have that screw top, and that is something I do appreciate. Now, with this wine being 10.5% um, ABV, it could go a couple ways here. So before you even get into it, it could go maybe into your, maybe like spotless or also this um, wines where they're gonna start having a little hint of sweetness. They still will have high acidity. The character of the fruit will have a certain type of qualities, typically going away from some of that red fruit, going into more of the stone fruit notes. Um, or it could be one of those things where it is just picked super early, it's super acidic, you're gonna get a lot of kind of red fruit entry into the green fruit, and um, that might be what you get out of this. But I don't know until I try it. So, let's get to the color. Oh, you thought I was gonna jump ahead. No, I'm not gonna jump ahead. I'm pretty good. Uh, I would say this is a pale gold, no artifacts, no cloudiness. All right, so now we're gonna get to the nose. Medium plus intensity on the nose, and it is a hardcore red apple. A lot of red apple with a hint of pear little bit of orange in there that might be it maybe maybe there's like a it's like an orange rind with a little bit of like a touch of lemon juice no lime juice that's a different character than lemon. i'm gonna say lime juice um but that's pretty much it it's, it's just kind of a simple straightforward riesling i'm not getting any honey i'm not really getting any noticeable hint of petroleum no alcohol on the nose let's get to the taste So I'm gonna say this is a medium dry. It's some folks could lean towards off dry. I'm gonna lean towards medium dry. Nice high acid though. I really do like that acid. Um, the body is a medium plus body, and mostly because of the residual sugar adding more oomph to the body there. Um, the finish, medium finish. Intensity on the palate is medium plus intensity. And all of that. That primary fruit that I was detecting earlier is just really showing up. It's 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 having a blast coming out, and there's really nothing funky about this wine. Everything you smell is what you taste. And everything I smell smelled pretty good. Tasting it, yeah, it even goes to that level. Just getting some nice fruit. I'm getting a tiny little bit of a bitter orange, but it's not overpoweringly bitter. And then that lime just kind of creeps in and just cleans everything else away. It's it's really. I'm, I'm kind of a fan of it. The thing I am missing though is that I'm not getting much of a petroleum note at all out <laughs> of this wine. And that is something that I do really like about Riesling, guys. I do like that petroleum note that comes into it. But with all that being said, how does it rate? So in terms of balance, I'm gonna give you a full point. I think you have high acid with a good amount of residual sugar, a nice body, everything works well together. Nothing to complain about there. Length, medium finish, half a point. Intensity, gonna give you half a point, and medium plus on the palate, and medium plus on the nose. And in terms of complexity, I'm gonna give you no points. Um, if I was getting more primary, then I'd give you half a point. If I was getting some of that secondary, like 
maybe some of that development that comes with Riesling, especially that petroleum, I would give you a full point on the end, but um, I need a little bit more fruit in order to get that. So in the end, that gives you two points. You're a good wine. Like I said, I'm not complaining about this wine. I think that it's it's absolutely fine for a Riesling, especially if you want one that's maybe like a pretty darn good Riesling to pair with Thai food or Indian food or like spicy wings. Like the nice sweet and spicy kick is one of my favorite pairings. And this is one of those where it'll provide you a kick of that sweetness without being too overpowering. So uh, maybe pick up a bottle and try it out. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you tried the Two Sock Jumper Riesling from Rheinhessen, Germany? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime.